Microdosing refers to taking small amounts of a substance in order to experience subtle effects. This video is only about fly agaric microdosing. Amanita muscaria is a type of mushroom that contains several psychoactive compounds, including muscimol and ibotenic acid, which can cause hallucinations and other effects. There is limited scientific research on the effects of microdosing Amanita muscaria, but some individuals have reported using small amounts of the mushroom for various purposes, such as Enhancing creativity Muscle recreation after gym or job For interrupting addictions to alcohol, opiates, nicotine, caffeine, and other narcotics For good sleep or reducing anxiety Also Amanita microdoses offered help and healing for a broad range of conditions, including hormonal dysfunction, allergies, gingivitis, heartburn, eczema, psoriasis, depression, epilepsy, hypertension, and migraine. It has been reported that the first international study on the medicinal effects of microdosing with Amanita muscaria, a psychoactive fly agaric mushroom, has revealed positive outcomes for a wide range of health conditions, as well as improved creativity and sports performance. The study involved more than 3,000 volunteer and was conducted by Baba Masha, MD. According to the study, Microdoses of Amanita muscaria were found to offer help and healing for hormonal dysfunction, low libido, allergies, asthma, swelling, gingivitis, nail fungus, digestive issues, and skin conditions such as eczema and psoriasis. The mushroom was also found to be effective in aiding recovery from stroke and cardiac arrest, and showed beneficial effects on depression, epilepsy, hypertension, insomnia, and low appetite. Furthermore, the study showed that microdoses of Amanita muscaria were effective in providing pain relief, including in cases of rheumatoid arthritis, menstrual pain, and migraine. Revealing the vast healing potential of this ancient mushroom ally, MASH's study shows not only how Amanita can help with many health conditions but also how it activates the ability to feel the value and the significance of your own life experience. Speaking of fly agaric in this video, we will mean dried fly agaric with a predominance of muscimol. Muscimol is a GABAergic compound which means that it affects the activity of the neurotransmitter gamma-aminobutyric acid, GABA, in the brain. It acts as a potent agonist, activator, of GABA receptors, producing sedative, anxiolytic, anti-anxiety, and hallucinogenic effects. When consumed, muscimol is rapidly absorbed into the bloodstream and travels to the brain, where it binds to GABA receptors and alters their activity. This can lead to changes in perception, mood, and cognition, as well as physical effects such as relaxation and muscle weakness. Muscimol is psychoactive but not a narcotic. Based on the current understanding of the compound's effects on the brain and the limited reports of addiction, it is not believed to be addictive. According to my own observation, after three weeks of use, everything slowly begins to return as it was before use, but with some positive changes. There are studies that fly agaric, together with lion's mate, Herisium erinaceus, preserve brain cells and accelerate the growth of brain cells. Applying them together create an essay of greater positive effect. In my other video, there is information about how eating mushrooms could affect even human evolution. 
So how much fly agaric to take for microdosing? The effects of Amanita muscaria and muscimol accordingly can be influenced by various factors, including the place and time of harvesting, the age of the mushroom, the method of preparation, and individual variations in sensitivity to the mushroom psychoactive compounds. The location of harvesting can impact the potency and composition of the psychoactive compounds in Amanita muscaria. Environmental factors such as soil type, climate, and altitude can all affect the growth and chemical composition of the mushroom. In some cases, the mushroom may contain different levels of muscimol and ibotenic acid depending on where it was harvested. The time of peaking, or the stage of maturity at which the mushroom is harvested, can also impact the psychoactive effects. Some individuals believe that harvesting the mushroom when it is still young and not fully mature can lead to a more potent and enjoyable experience, while others prefer to wait until the mushroom is fully matured. The year of harvesting can also impact the psychoactive effects of Amanita muscaria. Different growing conditions and weather patterns can affect the growth and chemical composition of the mushroom, which can impact its potency and effects. This is one of the reasons why official medicine does not recognize this mushroom. In other words, it is a lack of standardized preparations. The potency of Amanita muscaria can vary widely depending on the region where it was harvested, the time of year, and the preparation method. This variability makes it difficult to standardize the dosage and quality of the substance for medical use. Another reason why medicine does not recognize treatment with this fungus is a lack of clinical research. There is a lack of scientific studies investigating the safety and efficacy of Amanita muscaria for medical use. Without rigorous clinical trials, it is difficult to determine the appropriate dosages, potential side effects, and interactions with other medications. Overall, the effects of Amanita muscaria can be influenced by a variety of factors, and caution should be exercised when consuming the mushroom, even for microdosing purposes. As example I taking half of gram or one gram of Swedish dried Amanita muscaria picked in September. It is close to micro dosing borderline. My weight is 70 kilograms. Very rare some people have hypersensitivity to this mushroom and to find out this they have to start a micro dosing with 5 or 10 times less first trial dosage. Hypersensitivity have only one from about 10,000 humans. What else does fly agaric contain? Dried Amanita muscaria is also rich in beta-glucan. Polysaccharide beta-glucan is a type of complex carbohydrate made up of glucose molecules linked together in long chains. It is found in the cell walls of many types of fungi as well as in the bran of cereal grains such as oats and barley, and in some types of bacteria. Beta-glucans are known for their ability to stimulate the immune system and improve immune function. They are also thought to have other health benefits, such as lowering cholesterol levels and improving blood sugar control. Due to these properties, beta-glucans are often used as a dietary supplement or functional food ingredient. And finally about my own experience and impact to the mind. I have noticed in my personal experience that there is an influence on my thoughts. For example, the thoughts that prevented you from living due to the fact that you interfered and poisoned the life of your loved ones have almost disappeared.
This is what ruins relationships. After microdosing for a long time, you don't want to teach people how to live properly. You become focused on the process of life. It feels like you are starting to play the role in life that needs to be played. Microdosing Amanita Muscaria should only be done with extreme caution. It is important to carefully measure the amount of mushroom being consumed, and to start with a very small dose in order to assess how the body reacts to it. Hope the video was informative.